if you have a Mac computer or you're planning on buying a Mac computer, especially the M chip ones. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the best OBS settings for live streaming using a Mac computer. So let's not take much time, let's get into it. So right now we have OBS open and I have added my webcam. Everything's kind of ready to go live. I mean, not everything, but we're not gonna focus on that. Obviously, we're gonna focus on settings. But before that, I wanna show you guys how to download OBS. Basically, let's say if this is the first time because it's gonna be a little different compared to a Mac computer. So you're gonna go to obsproject.com and what you're gonna do is you wanna go where it says Mac OS. You're gonna click to that. Now with the M1 chip, you're gonna make sure you select Mac OS Apple Silicon, right? So these are the new M chip, the newest Mac. Okay, so if you have like the Mac mini M1 or M2 or M3 or M4 or any other Mac that has something that says M, M1, M2, M3, M4, all right? This is the OBS copy that you're gonna need. The one that says Apple Silicon. Now, if you have the older Mac OS, it's gonna be the Intel one but that's now we're gonna be covering so you're gonna click on here it's gonna get into your download folder and you're gonna just install it like you install any other software it's not complicated so once you have it installed obviously it's gonna actually show up and it's gonna look like this so i've already added my camera again to do that that's covered in a different video i just want to go make sure we go to settings so we're gonna go here uh, and then we're gonna go to video so the first thing you need to do, you wanna make sure you go to canvas resolution. You wanna make sure you set it up to 1920 by 1080. Again, for this video, we are streaming in 1080, so it's not gonna be like a 4K streaming or anything. And this works either you're streaming on YouTube or Facebook. I'm gonna show you there's a little difference, but in general, the settings should be the same, all right? Base canvas, we're gonna make sure you leave it at 1920 by 1080. Output scaled resolution 1920 by 1080 so you're gonna change this to 1920 by 1080 and common fps you want to make sure you leave it at 30 frames per second or 30 if you are doing some sort of gaming or sports you can actually go ahead and choose 60 frames per second all right but for a talking head video like what I'm doing right now, 30 frames per second should be good. And then uh, one thing you're going to notice if you use two uh, Windows machines, you're gonna see that you don't need to hit apply, okay? As soon as you select something, it's gonna be saved, no problem. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go to output and then we're gonna go under output mode. When you log in the first time you open it, it's gonna be set as simple. So you wanna make sure you set the output mode to advanced. Then we're gonna go to streaming. This is the tab that we actually have to work on. So everything else, guys, the first thing you leave it the way it is. Second, you leave it the way it is. Third, video encoder. You want to make sure you choose Apple VTH264 hardware, okay, not software. So it's Apple VTH264 hardware encoder, all right? That's the one that we need, okay? It's important. Hardware, it's important. And then rescale output, you don't need to do anything there. And then for the rate control, you want to make sure you choose CBR. And then for beat rate, if you're streaming to YouTube, you can go up to 10 Mbps or 10,000 Kbps, okay? So we wanna make sure we put 10,000 in here. This is the max that you can do for YouTube. And if you're streaming in 30 frames per second, if you're streaming in 60 frames per second, remember the setting that we did, you can go up to 12,000 Kbps, all right? Keyframe interval, you can leave it at two seconds. Profile, you can actually leave it a high, doesn't matter. And that's pretty much it for YouTube. Now, if you're doing Facebook, you can actually go ahead. The maximum that you can do on Facebook is gonna be 6,000. So it's gonna be 6,000 Kbps and everything else stays the same. Now, how do you know if you can actually afford to do 6,000 or 10,000, depending on what you want to stream? What you need to do, you wanna make sure you check your internet speed. And if you have anywhere, you know, around 20 megabits per second of upload speed, you should be able to actually be okay with any of the bit rate, either for YouTube for 10,000 or 6,000 for Facebook. However, if you have less, then you can actually try to reduce, like for Facebook, you can do something around 4,000. And for YouTube, you can do even like anywhere between 6,000 to 10,000 with YouTube, it should be okay as well. So once you're done, you wanna make sure you go to stream and choose the service where you wanna stream to. If you're streaming to YouTube, you're gonna go ahead and choose YouTube. If you wanna stream to Facebook, you wanna go ahead and choose Facebook Live and then go get your stream key and be able to go live. Now getting the best setting is not 
enough to be able to have a good show while you actually stream that's why you need to go ahead and make sure all your scenes and sources are set correctly and in order to do that you want to make sure you actually check out this video because i'm going to show you step by step how to set up your full obs show once you have that set up and combine it with the best settings to be able to go live you're going to have a wonderful show so make sure you check out that video here and i'll see you there guys take care